Now, after understanding what is document object model or DOM, we need to understand one more important concept called as rendering process. So what is rendering? So in our previous session, we, think, we thought like DOM is a logical representation, right? So how is DOM and rendering process are linked with each other? And understanding this will give you a clear idea what React has done to improvise this rendering process and how it has played a significant role in increasing the speed of the rendering. So what is rendering, right? So when HTML and CSS, whatever HTML and CSS code you write, before actually appearing as a web page on the browser, there is a pipeline which these two follow and finally we get to display it, right? So improvising this performance, because obviously, right, from the code to the web page, the amount of time taken actually depends on the load time. So if your network speed is fast, then all of these can easily happen. It's just like, imagine there is a big pipe and uh, you need to pass the water. So if the speed of water is very good, then it can flow out easily in the same way. So what can you do to increase the speed? Maybe you are inclining it down, maybe whatever. So whatever hacks you want to do on a regular pipe. Similarly, the hack which you apply on this actually impacts the load time. So rendering process is the first thing which everybody has to look at to improve the speed. First, we need to understand how actually the HTML and CSS content is rendered on the browser. Okay, so obviously browser understands only HTML, CSS and JavaScript. HTML and CSS are templating languages. It means whatever you give, it is being directly converted and painted. It uh, is rendered on the browser. So see, first HTML is given, HTML and CSS both start parallelly and there is a parser which parses these two. So it understands what div tag is, what list tag is, and then it constructs the DOM tree. So whatever we have seen yesterday, whatever we have seen yesterday, the DOM, the uh, logical representation that is constructed over here. And then similarly, so there are two types of DOMs, one HTML DOM and second CSS DOM. Both DOMs are constructed independently, then they are attached. Then only you can see the CSS rules being applied onto the browser. I don't know if you have ever observed. Sometimes if your internet speed is slow, you get to see the HTML, but CSS is still not applied because it is taking time for CSS to render. It is take, first the priority is always HTML and then these two needs to be attached. So independently they have reached here. Now CSS needs to wrap on HTML so that we get to see the styling and then they, they get to decide, okay, see, you can change the positions of the HTML elements using the CSS. So after these two have attached, now they decide, okay, which place I have to occupy, which place, I mean, where I have to go as a div element on which, L, which location I have to stay on, which, uh, latitude, longitude, I have to go on the browser window. So the layout decidation phase will happen over here and then the painting. So painting or rendering, both are referred to same. Some people call it painting, some people call it rendering. You can alternatively use it. So painting. So in a simple terms, the amount of HTML or CSS being painted, being rendered on the browser window directly impacts on the load time after the painting. So whatever render tree has come to your place and you painting it onto the browser, then you get to see the actual web page, right? So these are the simple steps every web page follows. So it actually depends on many factors, guys. One on your internet speed, one, how much HTML content are you trying to uh, render? Three, what different stylings, what media queries, etc. All of these actually impact on the load time, right? So the first step is always process HTML markup, process HTML markup, 
and generate the DOM tree, what we have seen, the logical representation. So first this part is generated. Hence, sometimes you see that your internet speed is slow. It means only the HTML will be rendered and slowly the styling will be applied. Next, processing the CSS markup and we call it as CSOM tree, CSS on tree. Okay. So first DOM tree, then CSS on tree. Now combine the DOM and CSS to render into a final tree. So now the final tree has been generated based on the CSS rules and the HTML code which we have written. After that, run layout. So you need to generate the layout, right? Now you know what all elements are there, how they have to be displayed, what color, what background image, everything. Everything has been constructed and it's ready. So now layout needs to be generated to compute geometry, like where exactly. So each HTML tag will be now referred to as node because DOM tree is the logical representation and it has been represented as a tree. So in tree, we call it as root node, nodes, leaf nodes, etc. So we enter into the terminology. So after the layout, the geometry of each node is decided where they have to be placed exactly. Sometimes you observe, right? First, the HTML is loaded. CSS is not loaded. So few things are in the bottom, few things are in the right, few things are in the left because maybe you are applying CSS Flexbox rules. So Flexbox actually decides the layout, the grid and everything, right? So if the CSS is a bit slow, I mean, mainly because of your internet speed, then your HTML first looks in a very weird way and then automatically it gets adjusted. So the layout is also dependent, right? And then paint the individual nodes. Note this point very clearly. Painting the individual nodes. So we pay the amount of the number of nodes, the number of HTML content. So each HTML element is a node. The amount of HTML elements which we are painting on the browser. So painting is a very costly operation. What I mean by costly operation is that time taking. It is a very time taking in terms of programming. So time complexity of painting is pretty huge. It actually depends on many factors like maybe the browser where we are running it on the system configuration on the internet speed. So this is the main thing which you need to keep in mind because obviously these are these needs to be run on every place. So paint the individual nodes to the screen. Remember this point. We'll discuss why this is very important and what React has done to do this. So if simply if more HTML content is being painted on the browser, then more time it will take. Okay. So after understanding the rendering process clearly, then you can think, okay, what can I do to improve the speed, load time, initial load time, initial uh, appearance of the web page, right? So after all of these process, then you can clearly see the web page. This, this is called as the entire browser rendering process, which is happening on your browser, Chrome, Safari, etc. whatever browser you use. Okay, so cool.